What's up YouTube, Pinoy Abroad here. I'm back. Just wanted to give you an update with another video. It's been a while since I posted the last video. So um, today is not really a very special day, but I wanted to show you my daily routine since it's my day off since yesterday. Um, anyway, just a quick update. A family member or a, a family relative came here yesterday, visited us here in Minnesota from the Philippines because they wanted to see snow. It's already April, guys. We did not expect as much snow, but it still snowed. Um, two days ago and it was a lot of snow and I felt like I thought it was um, very coincidental and you know lucky for them they were able to see snow because not a lot of people who come here in April get to see snow um, but anyway first thing we're gonna do today is to get our car an oil change and then after that we're gonna go for uh, grocery shopping so we're just gonna do some routine stuff um, routine things that we do in a daily basis so I hope you stick around till the end of the video and um, keep watching let's go Just me and you. So guys, we did a convoy today, so my wife is driving her car, I'm driving my car right now. Um, and the reason being is that uh, when we get there at the dealership, so she's gonna drop that car off, and um, since we don't have um, an appointment today, I called the dealership and they said we could just drop off the car and they could do an all change whenever they have the chance. And then after that, they could call us if it's already done. And so we thought we'd bring two cars so that when she drops it off, she can ride on my car and then we can go and do whatever things we need to do today. Alright guys, we're here, so we're just gonna get this oil change done, and then my wife's gonna hop on, and we're gonna go run our errands. Hi guys, so just a quick update, we've decided to come here at Costco and do our grocery shopping done here. And that's because it's cheaper here, so we wanna do that grocery shopping done as quick as possible. Because it's already 2 o'clock, it's past lunchtime, and we haven't eaten our, our lunch yet. And then after this, we'll probably go somewhere to a restaurant to grab ourselves some food. So the reason why we decided to sign up for Costco, although you usually, if you sign up for Costco, you pay a, a membership fee for like an annual membership, it's like a hundred dollars or something. I don't remember off the top of my head how much I paid when I initially started, but then it's like about a hundred or something. So even though you pay an annual hundred dollars, it's still all worth it at the end of the year. And that's because you get a ton of freebies and a ton of coupons and good deals from Costco which is really helpful if you're trying to save money and so if you guys are also new to the States and you're trying to save up money because I know it can be very expensive to live here in the United States and if you're trying to shop for food and all that stuff spend your money wisely Sample. Mm. Yeah. Hi. Hi. I will get a pound of crab legs. Well, one leg's usually about three quarters of a pound. Oh, really? So if you want to do like maybe a couple of claws or maybe a couple of like smaller legs. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of smaller legs. Yeah. A couple of smaller legs. Yeah. No, but what?
guys, one of the coolest thing we found here is this. Ooh. Uh, last na. Soup. Tapos okay na tayo. All right, guys. We're done grocery shopping, so there's a change of plan. Instead of going to the gro to the restaurant to eat, we're just gonna head out home and cook some food. We bought some crab legs and some crabs, so we're just gonna make some ginataan. My wife is gonna cook for us, and then um, I'm gonna eat it with rice. And I think we're gonna spend the time pretty much at home today. Uh, we bought about $170 worth of items, so that should last us about three weeks. So we shouldn't be doing any grocery shopping until three weeks from now. So guys, we forgot to buy some vegetables and um, those vegetables that we need for the ginataan, we can't find them here at Costco. So we get, we're gonna have to go to a nation store and grab that item. Um, and so that's why we're heading out now there. Uh, I think we're just gonna skip lunch today and then just go straight for dinner. So guys, this is the Asian store we go to every time we're looking for certain items that we want to incorporate in our cooking, especially Asian recipes. Um, and we pretty much find them here all the time, and that's why we come here all the time. Alright guys, we got home and uh, now we have all these groceries to sort out. Um, we bought salad, we love salad. We have some of these chips because I like, I like eating munching some chips like during my pastime when I'm here. Um, and we love soup as well and we bought these. Um, And then papaya for my wife. Um, she is currently pregnant right now and she complains about constipation so I thought maybe papaya will help. And um, we try to consume as much fruits as we can because as you know fruits are very healthy for you. Uh, so we bought some grapes as well. It's really a good deal guys. It's not really that bad. Um, for 170 dollars um, we got a ton of items and this should pretty much last us three weeks um, here's some uh, they call them cuties or mandarin oranges calcium with vitamin d3 apples this is her cheese bar cakes some vegetables Corn beef. And this is calabasa in Tagalog. Coconut milk. And then crab legs. And then this one is uh, my bowl of vegetables that I usually bring with me when I go to work put in the microwave you know heat it for about two minutes and then it's all set and ready um, these are organic eggs and then these are slices of pork I don't know about you guys but I like pork I like deep frying them and then putting some salt in them and just kind of making a chicharron out of them couple it with rice dip it in vinegar or soy sauce and just tastes yummy. If you're dipping it with soy sauce, don't forget to put some sili in there and um, some calamansi. If you have some, it tastes really good. And this is the crab that we bought. Hebrew national beef, franks, or beef hot dogs. Hi guys, so my wife has decided to cook the food 
like I said, the uh, gitataan. So she's gonna show you how to cook it. Um, she's gonna prepare the ingredients today and then she's gonna show you one by one how to cook it. Um, but this is not a vlog for cooking, so she's just gonna go through it really quick and then um, just kind of show you how she does it. That's it. So guys, ito yung mga ingredients ko. Simple yung gisa. Garlic. Onion. Tapos, my shrimp paste. Coconut milk. Squash. Or kalabasa. And then, sitaw. Tapos, yung bita sa lahat, yung crab. Mix. Coconut milk yung gagamitin natin. Ito, ito. Just ikigisan natin yung bawang. Simple lang tong luto ko. Ano lang to? Chamba-chamba. So after 2 to 3 minutes, kumukulo na siya. After pakuluin yung gata, nilagyan ko siya ng um, shrimp paste or yung alamang. So, kunin na natin. Crablex. Gusto ko na siyang isama agad kasi para yung katas niya sumama dun sa sabaw. Ayan. So, pagkatapos natin ilagay yung crab legs, papakuloyin muna natin siya ng around 2 to 3 minutes para mas lumambot yung gulay or yung kalabasa and then ilalagay na natin sa sunod yung sitaw para hindi siya ma-overcook kulo na siya ngayon medyo malambot na din yung squash pwede natin lagay yung sitaw or yung string beans good for two people lang talaga yung niluluto namin palagi kasi gusto namin fresh lab yung kinakain okay so after a couple of minutes luto na yung um, squash, luto na din yung string beans. So, pwede na siyang i-plate. Pwede na siyang kainin. Alright guys, so food is served. Mmm, looks yummy. We have cauliflower rice. And then it's time to try the, the ginataan and see how it tastes like. Mmm, yummy. The cauliflower rice is actually really good. King crab legs is really good guys. It's just that the only thing is it's very expensive. And this was $24 per pound, the back. Yeah. It's just very expensive, but it's really good. It's worth it if you buy it once in a while. Or if you have the money to buy it every day, you can do that too. So, 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 gata, and then dunk, dunk it, and then eat it. Mm. guys we're just watching Netflix right now so this is pretty much like I said my daily routine whenever it's my day off I go run my errands if I do have errands for the day and then after that I come back home just pretty much chill if I don't have to do anything else and then I sometimes go out um, go for a walk sometimes I go to the gym depending on my mood and then if it's warm outside I go for a biking it's sometimes really dependent to the climate, dependent to the weather. So I hope you like this video, guys, and I hope you continue to watch my videos. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below. And then I hope you subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up if you think you like it. Um, I think I'll end this video here. I will catch you in my next video. Like I always say, peace out and spread the love.